Hello, today I'm going to be showing how I use fountain pens or pen nibs to draw using India ink. So what I first like to do is dip my pen into the ink and then test it out on some scratch paper. It's always a good idea to have scratch paper on hand when using a fountain pen because I've had instances where if I don't test it out, the ink just pulls onto your precious drawing and then you blot it away, but the stain is still there and there's nothing you can do about it. Or where the ink just doesn't come out at all, so it's always a good idea to test it out before you start drawing. Um, what I like to do is just repetitively draw lines. I tend to pick a focal point, like say the base of a flower petal, and make my lines fan out from that one spot. Um, as you can see, none of my lines are straight. They, even the ones that seem straight, still have a little bit of curve to them because I want to show dimension and volume to whatever I'm drawing. What I like to do is just put down uniform lines and then go back over to the places where I want to place more emphasis or shadow and then press down harder to let more ink pull out and then make the lines darker. areas where I want to leave as highlights, I press down really lightly on the pen to leave really faint and thin lines. So that's basically what I did for this drawing. I did it for all of the flower petals and the stem and the little circle things. And then for the leaves, I alternated between filling in the individual leaves and then filling in the area between the leaves because I thought that would turn out cool but it just kind of looks whatever like it, it wasn't great I tried <laughs> um, so I filled in the area between the leaves for like the center of it where it's really dense and then I filled in the leaves on the outer perimeter where it's not so dense. So the whole thing with fountain pens is I think they're great because you can really easily control the ink flow and the weight of your lines. I'm used to using micron pens in the past and they're great because they're a really they're really easy to use. They're um, like smudge proof pretty much and you can like use them on top of like acrylic and watercolor without much um, chances of like smearing or whatever. I find that using a fountain pen is so much better for me because I hate having to have like six, seven different pens on hand just for different line weights. I'd rather very easily control my line weight just by using one pen. And it's really easy to get the hang of. I guess the only couple inconveniences would be that you have to dip the pen and the ink a lot, but I mean that's not too bad. The other big thing would be that you'd have to be careful about where you put your hand down while you're inking your drawing. 
um, which is why I worked from like up down. You would have to pick a direction, either left to right, right to left, up down, and keep drawing in that same direction so that your hand won't accidentally smudge the ink. You'd have it dries pretty quick, I think. Um, especially if you're not like it's not like a huge pool of ink. Like for whatever I'm doing, it took maybe like 15 seconds for it to completely dry, which is not too bad at all. You just have to like be mindful of where your hand is. Here I am erasing all my pencil marks. So this is my drawing scanned in. Um, this is my first time drawing with a fountain pen and I think it turned out pretty well. I don't know if this was helpful at all, but I had fun making it and yeah, thanks for tuning in.